you today. All right, welcome to Metabolic Challenge. I'm Coach Clint, and today we will be doing some upbeat and fast-moving movements. Fast-moving movements? We'll just get up and moving this morning, get a little sweaty, uh, get a good workout in. While we're waiting for everybody else to, to bounce in, we have our little acronym of the day today, LIFE. Live it fully every day. That is something we should all live by is don't just go through the motions. Live your life every single day. You're here this morning, so step one, done, definitely. And then our joke today, why can a leopard not hide very well? And I drew you a little picture. Why can a leopard not hide very well? Think about it for a second. Think about it for a second while we get warmed up. Let's go down to the ground, glute bridge position. We're going to go two feet down, dig those heels in, drive up nice and high, let yourself down nice and slow. Drive up high, let yourself down nice and slow. So why can, and we're doing 10, by the way, why can a leopard not hide very well? Well, because no matter what he does, he is always spotted. Oh boy, that was good. That was good, if I do say so myself. Get your 10 in. Once you're done with your 10, go ahead and go into that figure four position. Bring that ankle about halfway between your knee and your hip. And we're just going to press out here. Take a nice deep breath. Stretch this hip. If you're more flexible, you can thread the needle, reach in between, and grab at your other leg and pull it to your chest. My hips are super tight from yesterday, so I'm just gonna do right here and I'm just gonna push, take a good five breaths in and out, and then I'm gonna switch to the other side. Now, if you have that ankle about halfway between your knee and your hip, that's gonna help to get into this stretch a little deeper. Make sure you're breathing. Good job. Good. From there, let's go dead bug position. Lock into that dead bug position. All we're going to do right now is just brace. So I want you to get into the dead bug, 90 degree at the hip, 90 degree at the knee, arms up, squeeze that core down, tighten things up. Out through your mouth. Don't loosen here. Keep it tight. In. Out. Good. In. Out. One more. In. Out. Good. Now just turn straight to your side. Bonk. Into that 90-90 position. Let's go 90-90 arm bar. I reach up towards the sky. I make sure that my hips are stacked and my knees are stacked. And I'm going to drive this elbow at about a 45 behind my body. Now, if you want to use a light weight here, you can. Nothing heavy. And then press up. Deep breath in. Let it out. And then press up. Good. Again, let's go five of these. And up. Good. Once you're done with your five, switch to the other side. Roll on over. Same thing. Stack the knee, stack the hips. Drive that elbow back at about a 45 behind your body. Get that good stretch in. Loosening things up. Getting ready for the workout to come. Hopefully you guys are having a good week so far. 
We're into Wednesday workout, so we made it this far. We can push through the rest of the week for sure. Now, if you're just logging on, the U2, look for a U2 playlist if you want to play some music. All right, up on those feet. Here we go. Get yourself ready. Widen out your base a little bit. Okay. What we're gonna do is lateral lunges each side, but we're gonna try to stay nice and low. So I'm gonna stay low, I'm gonna shift, and then I'm gonna shift low all the way across. Let's go five of those on each side, five on each side. Getting that shift in for some reason. I was making sure my camera didn't shut off because it shut off on my computer. Shifting back and forth. Thank you to Bill and Cindy for putting what they're listening to in the chat so we can all be one if we want to. Once you're done with your five on each side, stay in that wide stance. Let's go ahead and hinge forward. Push those hips to the back of the room, reach down to the ground. Now the fun part, squeeze your glutes and roll up, but squeeze those glutes to come up. Don't use your back. All the way up, good, down. Hinge those hips back, stretch those hamstrings for a second, squeeze those glutes and hamstrings to roll up. Good, again, you got five of these, down. Squeeze to come up. Good. Two more. <sighs> yes, this part of the workout is a little slower. We're just getting things warmed up, getting loosened up, and then we'll speed things up as we go. <sighs> Good. All right. Once you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and do a hand walk, just a single, okay? Hand walk. Go ahead and fold forward. We're gonna hand walk out into a good plank position. Okay, from here, I'm gonna bend my right leg, knee comes under my chest. Now I'm gonna drive that heel to the sky, bring it back down. One, two, make sure that heel comes up. Three, stay in that 90-90 with that leg. Four, five, good, bring it down. Switch to the other side, lift it up, and go one, two, three, four, five, good. Set that leg down, now drive your right leg forward into that strider stretch. You might have to push up into a down dog, but you're gonna take that big lunge step forward. Get a good rotation in, world's greatest. Come down, step back and switch to the other side. Big lunge step forward, reach up. <coughs> Bring it down, let's go one more on each side. Right side. Good, bring it down. Left side. Bring it down. And then let's walk those hands all the way back and roll up nice and slow. Grab a quick drink of water. <coughs> because I need one. All right, neural activation. Okay, first go. We drop into our base position. Second go, we're gonna go nice, easy two inch runs to start. Just one round of two inch runs. Here we go, all the way up. Go, go. Three, two, one, and relax. Good, this time, first go drop in, second go pogos, both feet. Here we go, all the way up, go. 
Go, get those pogos going. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, this time, first go, drop into a single. Okay, second go, I go to the other side. Then I go to the other side every time I say go. Okay, so it doesn't matter which leg you fall on to start. Here we go, all the way up. Go, single leg. Go, stabilize. Go, 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 and rest. One more time, all the way up. Go, Woo, find that balance. Go, 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 go. We're learning stability. Go, 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 and relax. Nice work. All right. So today, got some fun stuff coming up. Now, again, with or without weights, everything can be done with or without weights. Okay. I have some nice light weights here. I also have some sliders for some of the stuff we're gonna do. Totally up to you though, okay? So first movement, everything is timed today, okay? Everything is timed. We are going 40 seconds on, okay? 40 seconds on, and then we're taking a quick little 15 to 20 second break, okay? <clears throat> what we're doing with this 40 seconds. The first one, we bring our single arm, Overhead, base is normal. We're doing a single arm overhead squat. Okay, we're going 20 seconds on the right, and then we'll switch 20 seconds on the left. So I put my hand out just to stay stable. You squat all the way down, come back up, okay? And then obviously when we switch, make sure you switch cleanly, and then we'll go again. You do not have to use this hand if you do not want to. The only place I don't want it is straight up. I don't want double overhead, okay? There's a reason for it. We're working this core a lot, okay? From there, <coughs> excuse me, we're gonna go down to the ground. We're doing our renegade rows, but the difference is we are not alternating. We're going 20 seconds all on one side, and then I'll tell you to switch. So we go 20 seconds here. And then I'll tell you when to switch. Okay, our next movement. We go feet on sliders. Now, if you do not have sliders, I'll show you how to do this, but we're going body size. So I come down into my low pillar bridge position. I push back, pull myself forward, okay? We're going all 40 seconds. So if you get tired here, you're just gonna pause in a position and keep that core. If you do not have sliders, the best way to do this is you set yourself up with your toes extended like so. And then I push back and push forward. So I'm laying on the tops of my feet, forward and back. Last part of this round, okay? Last part of this round. We are going isometric hold, isometric hold in a lunge position. So we're gonna come down. If my left leg's in front, I come to where my knee's just hovering off the ground. I hold for 20 seconds. I'll tell you to switch. Okay, we're really going for that burn. So four movements, 40 seconds on. We'll go 20 seconds off today. So 40 on, 20 off. I got your timer. <clears throat> we got four movements. All right, get yourself ready. Grab a weight if you want it. We got about 10 seconds till we start. All right, cool, clock's running. Okay, remember, get that good stability. Single arm overhead squat. Here we go, three, two, one, go. I'll tell you when to switch. You're getting them in. Now you can go as fast or as slow as you want, okay? I'm gonna shoot for hitting about six to eight reps. 
on each side. Switch. That little boy sounds horrible back in the background. Poor little guy. Good job. Keep it up. Just keep moving. Okay, now if you need a little extra rest each round, that's fine. Rest. Okay, it's only 20 seconds. So if you need extra, please take it. Okay. Now, if you need to chat with me or anything, you can throw it in with everybody. Or if it's personal, you can throw, throw it in the, in the specific two coach. Two, one, go. You know, if you want to yell at me or anything like that today, tell me how mean I am. Switch. Good job. Keep it up. And rest. <clears throat> Body saw. Now, if you're going without weights, all these movements are the same. You're just using muscle tension. So when I'm doing my renegade rows, I'm just pulling like I'm ripping up the floor. When I'm doing my overhead press, I'm holding the sky up. Here we go. Two, one, go. Now with the ISO holds, you do not have to use weight if you do not want to. With these body saws, I would suggest going slow and controlled, not trying to speed through them. Because they're not easy, especially for 40 seconds. Keep that core tight. If you need a rest, take a little rest. Get back into it. Rest. Good job, guys. Good job. All right, about 15 seconds. We're starting our next one. 10. ISO holds. Oh, we got a big group of people in today. All right, I'll read your names off in the next one. Two, one, ISO hold. Now you do not have to be super low. You can be here. You can be here. I just don't want you all the way up. Okay, so if you need to move a little bit throughout, that's fine. This is the tough part. Switch. Anytime you do an ISO hold, you're really taxing all these little muscles. Yes, I can call my own muscles little. Rest. All right, who we got? We got Carrie, Bill and Cindy, Hatesh, Javon, Jen, Maria, Ross, and Trisha. All the diehards. Woohoo! Good to see you all. Round two starting up. Overhead squat. Two, one, go. Bill, I hope Cindy's not using more weight than you are. I know she's using more than I am. Now, if any of you others want to bring your spouse or kids or anybody in, for the workout class, switch sides in the mornings. You are more than welcome to. If you want me to call them out during class, because I can see your name, but I can't see everybody else's name. Just let me know. We love making this a family affair. Good, rest. And if it motivates you to work harder, even better. 10 seconds. <clears throat> Whew. Three, two, one, go. Now try to keep your hips flat to the ground. Keep those elbows tight to your body as you pull up towards the sky. Switch. 
Switch. Den, I was guessing you were here, so that's why I didn't say how many rounds we have. Rest. Let's just say you got, uh, you know, about 25 more minutes worth of this. I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Here we go. Body saw coming up. Three, two, one, go. Good. Keep it up. Keep moving. You can stretch a little if you need to with these body saws. Ten more seconds. Rest. Grab a drink if you need it. Going into our lunge hold. Now, again, if that body saw is too much, too long, okay, just hold down on that pillar bridge. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. This 20 seconds doesn't feel too bad so far. This is like Friday's workout last week where we really tax those quads up, switch. Keep holding. 10 more seconds. And rest. All right, round three coming up. <clears throat> oh, that's okay. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. We're going to have a visitor. Here he comes. He's in the side of the screen. You want to come say hi, Jace? No. He's sick. He doesn't feel very good. <sighs> Switch for a kid that never sleeps. The past three days, he has slept not only all night long, but then most of the day. So, not feeling good, are you? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Rest. It is blue. Why don't you come out here and hang out with dad? People like to see you more than they like to see me. You're too sick? Oh, man. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. But you give me somebody to talk to, so I'm not just talking to myself. We're not big yet. You're not big like Dada yet? Not yet. You will be. And switch. Yeah. No. I think you and your brother both are going to be bigger than dad. Yeah. No. So why dad teaches this workout class so that he yeah. can be big like you. Yeah. Whoa. And rest. And now everybody's favorite coming up body saw. Jace is saying hi. Can you wave at everybody? Now you're going to dance for everybody and then run away. Yeah, All right, two, one, and go. Hi. Hi. There you go. Find that rhythm. Now, again, this is the longest movement because it's one movement. So if you need to take a break, 
do so. <sighs> 10 seconds. And time. Good job. Iso hold coming up. <coughs> oh, bud. You can hear dad talk. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. It's pretty bad that a body saw makes you look forward to an isometric hold. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. How cold is it outside, Jace? Switch. Cold enough. 36 degrees outside. 36. Two, one, rest. Shake it out. We got one more round. One more round. <clears throat> All right, get ready for that overhead. And three, two, one, go. Finish this round strong. Switch. Try to pull that weight up so you're not letting it fall forward. It stays as vertical as possible, especially as you get tired. And rest. Renegade Rose coming up. Long sleeve shirt today was a mistake. I should know better teaching you guys. 10 seconds. Wow. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Nice and strong. Switch sides. So we try to make this workout so no matter what equipment you have, you should be able to do this stuff. But if you ever have questions on how to pair the movements up, if you don't have dumbbells or if you don't want to do body weight and you don't have anything else, please let me know. Rest. Hopefully I can find some adjustments for you for some of the stuff that you could do, okay? So you can always throw that in the chat and they can explain through it. Two, one, body saw last time. These feel so good, don't they? Oh, stretch those shoulders out for a second. Go back in. Ten seconds. And rest. Whew. All right, ISO hold coming up. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Find that balance. Switch.
10 seconds, last 10 seconds here. And time, good, grab a nice drink of water, dry your face off if you need to. Woo. Good job. Round one in the books. Exos towel. Now nice and sweaty. All right. So for this next round, <clears throat> whew, what we're going to do, we're going to set a timer. We got 10 minutes, yeah. eh, a little less than 10 minutes. I'll set the timer. What we have, you're going for five squat jumps, five bent over tees, and then we're gonna do five dead bug overhead reaches. So five, five, and five. We're going every minute on the minute. We're gonna see how fast you can get through that. The faster you get through the three movements, the more rest you get, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and set the timer. So, and then I'll demo everything. So don't worry, just in case you're not sure what the movements are. Now, if you want to do bent tees with a little weight, you can, uh, but I don't want it very heavy. Okay, so let's go, let's go about. Let's go seven minutes. Seven minutes, seven rounds, basically. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna do, <clears throat> squat, right? I said squat jumps, squat jumps. We're gonna do frog jumps. So we're gonna touch the floor, jump up, okay? For five, okay? From there, we're gonna do our bent tees, get into a good bent over row position, getting those tees, right? Like that. Then you're gonna drop down to the ground. Now this one, you can use weight if you want. You're gonna do an overhead dead bug. So we're here, legs stay steady. Reach up, come up. That's your pull, okay? It's pull and core, all right? <coughs> I'll give you guys a countdown. Whew, get yourself ready, 10 seconds. Starting with squat jumps. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. Squat jumps. Now, if you don't want to jump, remember you can just do speed squats is fine too. Five, five T's. And five dead bug overhead reaches. Good, and then rest. And I'll give you the countdown, so don't worry. Got about 20 seconds, so we did good there. Now, if you wanna make that overhead reach a little harder, extend your legs also, but I really want you to focus on core, back, and shoulders more than I do, you know, worrying about your legs moving. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> but that is totally up to you it's your workout you're the leader of your workout normally jace joins me with these ones he likes these ones rest when you're done still got about 20 seconds we're right on schedule we're doing good all right 10 seconds three two one go
Get those dead bug overhead reaches in. Good. Nice work. All right, so next round, we're changing it up a little bit. Now you're doing squat jacks. So we're going to reach down, touch at our ankles, jump up into a pencil for five. Instead of bent tees, we're doing triceps on the floor. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Still fives. Triceps on the floor. You get your fingers pointed forward. You bridge up, bend those elbows back. And now with your dead bug, we're doing the same thing, but this time hold the weight over and reach your legs out for five. Good. Nothing like switching it up. All right, same thing this round. Squat jacks, triceps, and dead bug. Two, one, go. Now, if you have a chair or something, you can use that but just be careful it doesn't roll away on you. You can also slide those legs out into a reverse plank. That helps too. And rest. Woo. All right, this round, same thing. Squat jacks. Now we're going reverse plank, so we're going to hold. And we're going to drive our knees to our chest, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Good. So on a reverse plank, I make myself long. I bring my knees to my chest. Five on each side. Good. Dead bug, regular. Dead bug, opposite arm, opposite leg. Five on each side. And rest. <clears throat> and finish it out. And time. Good job. Nice work. Whew. Nice deep breaths. Mix it up a little bit on you in there. Let's go ahead and interlace those fingers. Reach up towards the sky. Pull those hands up to the sky. Like you're being dragged up by a crane and your feet are glued in the mud. <sighs> Look up between those hands. Nice deep breath. <sighs> Good. Let's fold forward. Let's sweep those toes off a couple of times. Sweep those toes. <sighs> Come up with a nice deep breath all the way up. <sighs> Good. Let's go quad stretch. So I'm going to quarter squat down on my left leg. I'm going to pull that quad up, reach my hand to the sky, puff out my chest, pull that leg to the back of the room. Good. Switch. Quarter squat. Pull that leg up. Reach. Now, if you need to hang on to something, that's fine. Balance is balance. Balance. 
Good. We're going to do one more corrective movement, and then you guys are free for the day. Okay, so what we're going to do, <clears throat> fire turned on. Can you see that? We're going to go here, and as I squat down, I'm going to reach my leg out. Then I'm going to go out to the side. Then I'm going to go back. Once I'm back, I'm going to turn my toe, sweep that leg around, stand up. We're going to do that two times on each side. We're going to alternate sides, though, okay? So little squat, reach to the front of the room. You're doing like a single leg squat with a little extra movement. That foot should not touch the ground. Turn your toe, sweep that leg. I'm staying in that little bit of a squat. Stand up. Good. Other side. Little squat. Reach to the front, reach to the side, reach to the back, turn that toe, sweep it around. Good, one more on each. Here we go, down, out, back, turn that toe, sweep around. Good, last one. <clears throat> Reach to the side, to the back, turn and sweep around. Come up nice and tall. Good job today, everyone. Thanks for being here. Woo, it was fun. I look forward to seeing you guys on Friday. <clears throat> if you need anything, remember you can always email <clears throat> or IM me at clintx.carlson at Intel. Good job, everyone. I know you all worked hard. Whew. Hopefully you guys got as sweaty as I did. I did wear a long sleeve, which again, mistake. All right. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks guys. Intel next time. Intel. Uh, I look forward to seeing you. Have a great rest of your day. Don't forget where I'm at if you need help. Thanks everyone. <laughs>